Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're diving into the world of identity and access management or IAM, well, I'm here to tell you that I've used Authentic, Zitadel, and Authelia and Keyclo. And today I'm going to explain these popular open source tools for handling authentication, single sign-on, and access control. I've been using each of these tools for a long time, both in personal projects and professional setups. And let me tell you, it's been quite a journey. I'm going to break down what makes each of these tools tick, share my hands-on experiences, and wrap it up with my personal pick for the best one. Whether you're a self-hoster, a developer, or an enterprise admin, this comparison will help you figure out which tool fits your needs. So, why does this matter? Well, authentication is the backbone of secure systems. It's how you ensure the right people get access to the right resources, whether that's a home lab, a microservices app, or a platform enterprise. Each of these tools, Authentic, Zitadel, Authel, and Keycloak, approaches IAM differently with unique strengths and quirks. I've spent hours setting them up, tweaking configurations, and even dealing with the occasional headache when things didn't go as planned. My goal here is to give you a clear, no-nonsense rundown based on real-world use, not just spec sheets. We'll spend a few minutes on each tool covering what it does, who it's, and who's actually likely to use it. I'll talk about setup, features, performance, or any gotchas I ran into. I'll wrap up with my personal choice and why I think it's the best fit for most scenarios. Oh, and stick around because there's a lot to unpack and I promise it'll be worth it. Let's dive in. First, we have Authentic. This is an open source identity provider that's all about flexibility and polished user experience. It's written in Python, which makes it approachable for developers, and it's got a sleek, modern interface that feels like a breath of fresh air compared to some clunkier alternatives. Authentic supports protocols like ZeroAuth2, OpenID Connect, SAML, and LDAP, so it plays nicely with most modern apps. It also offers single sign-on, multi-factor authentication, and some cool features like user self-service and consent management. Setting up Authentic was surprisingly smooth. I used Docker Compose for my home lab, and with their pre-built templates, I was up and running in under an hour. The admin UI is a standout, intuitive, clean, and packed with options to manage users, groups, and policies. One thing I loved was a flows system, which lets you customize authentication workflows like adding extra steps for MFA or conditional access. It's powerful but can feel overwhelming at first if you're not used to that level of granularity. On the downside, Authentic is resource hungry. It demands at least 2GB of RAM and 2 CPU cores, which is a lot for smaller setups like a Raspberry Pi. I noticed it idling at around 600 megabytes in my tests, which is hefty compared to lighter alternatives. It also relatively is new compared to, say, Cleekloak, so the community is smaller and you might need to dig into Docs or Discord for help. That said, Authentic recently added enterprise support, which is great for businesses needing formal assistance. Who's Authentic for? Well, it's perfect for small to medium-sized projects where you want a user-friendly, feature-rich IAM solution without too much complexity. If you're running into a microservices setup or need a modern interface for your team, Authentic is also a strong contender. Just make sure you've got that hardware to pack it up. Next up, let's talk about Zitadel. This is a cloud-native API-first identity platform that's built with developers in mind. It's written in Go, which means it's lightweight and fast, and it's designed for modern, scalable applications. Zitadel supports OpenID Connect, ZeroAuth2, SAML, and even WebAuth for passwordless auth. It's got a strong focus on multi-tenancy, making it ideal for B2B scenarios where you manage multiple organizations or clients. I set up Zitadel using Kubernetes in a test environment, and I was impressed by how straightforward it was. They offer a single binary option for simple deployments, which is a godsend for quick setups. The UI is clean and functional, though not as polished as Authentics. What really stood out was Zitadel's event source architecture, which gives you a long-term audit trail out of the box. This is a big deal for compliance-heavy environments like finance or healthcare. Performance-wise, Zitadel is lean. It idled at around 120 megabytes of RAM in my tests, which is fantastic for resource-constrained setups. It also supports regional cloud hosting and self-hosted deployments. So you've got flexibility with data residency. However, Zitadel is younger than Keycloak, so its feature set isn't as mature and the community is still growing. I ran into a couple of quirks with their documentation, which felt buzzword heavy at times, but their Discord community was quick to help. Zitadel shines for cloud-native apps and developer-focused teams. If you're building microservices or need a scalable B2B-friendly IAM solution, Zitadel's worth a look. It's not as feature complete as some competitors, but its simplicity and performance make it a compelling choice for modern stacks. Now, onto Authelia. This is a lightweight open source authentication service designed to secure web apps behind reverse proxies like Trafic or NGINX. It's written in Go, so it's super efficient, and it focuses on single sign-on and two-factor authentication. Authelia supports OpenID Connect, LDAP, and Active Directory, but it's not a full-fledged IAM platform like the others. Think of it as a security layer for existing setup. Setting up Authelia took some work. I used Docker and paired it with Trafic in my home lab. 
The configuration is all YAML based, which is great for infrastructure as code fans, but can be a pain if you're not comfortable with manual tweaks. There's no admin UI, so you're managing users and policies via config files or an external LDAP server. This makes Authelia less user-friendly, but incredibly lightweight. It idled at around 20 megabytes of RAM in my tests, which is perfect for low-resource environments like a VPS. Authelia's strength is in its simplicity and focus. It's designed to protect apps or untrusted networks, so it's ideal for self-hosters securing services like Jellyfin or Nextcloud. I love how it integrated seamlessly with my reverse proxy, adding 2FA without much fuss. However, the lack of UI and limited protocol support compared to, say, Keycloak can be a deal-breaker for complex setups. The community is small but active, and I found some great setup scripts online that saved me time. Athelia is best for self-hosters or small teams who want a lightweight, no-frills authentication layer. If you're okay with YAML config and don't need a full IAM suite, Athelia is a fantastic choice for securing your apps. Last but not least, this is the big dog of open source IAM. Backed by Red Hat and part of the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, it's written in Java, which gives it enterprise-grade robustness, but also some heft. Keycloak supports everything under the sun. OpenID Connect, Zero Auth2, SAML, LDAP, MFA, identity brokering, and multi-tenancy. It's designed for B2B and B2C use cases, from startups to massive organizations. Setting up Keycloak was a mixed bag. I used Docker for a quick spin, and while the initial setup was easy, configuring realms, clients, and users felt like a slog without prior experience. The admin UI is powerful but dated, and it took me a while to wrap my head around Keycloak's terminology. Once it's running, though, it's a beast. I integrated it with .NET API and a React app, and the SSO experience was flawless. Performance-wise, Keycloak is resource-intensive. It idled at around 600 megabytes of RAM, similar to Authentic, and can spike with heavy use. Scalability is also a strong suit, though. Keycloak handles thousands of users without breaking a sweat, which is why enterprises love it. The community is massive, and Red Hat's enterprise support via Red Hat single sign-on is a is a big plus for businesses. But what's my main gripe? Well, it feels overkill for some of the smaller setups, and the Java stack can be a turn-off for lightweight deployments. Keycloak is for those who need a battle-tested, highly customizable IAM solution. If you're running a complex enterprise environment or need a broad protocol support, Keycloak's your go-to. Just be ready to invest time in setup and maintenance. All right, we've covered Authentic, Zitadel, Authelia, and Keycloak. Each of these tools has its place, but which one's the best? Well, it depends on your needs but let me share my personal pick and why. Authentic is great for its modern UI and ease of use, but its resources demand make it less ideal for lightweight setups. Zitadel impressed me with its cloud native design and performance, but it's still maturing and lacks some polish. Authelia is a lightweight champ, perfect for securing small scale apps, but it lacks of a UI and limited features hold it back for bigger projects. Keycloak, while powerful, feels overkill for anything less than enterprise-grade development. So, what is my personal choice? It's authentic. And here's why. It strikes the best balance for most use cases I've encountered. The intuitive UI and flexible flows system make it a joy to use. Whether I'm setting up SSO for a home lab or managing users for a small business, it's not the lightest. Arthelia wins there but it's feature-rich without the overwhelming complexity of Keycloak. The Docker-based setup was a breeze, and the community, while smaller, is responsive. Plus, the recent addition of enterprise support gives me confidence in its long-term viability. That said, if you're running a tiny VPS, definitely go with Authelia for its amazing efficiency. And for its cloud-native microservices, Zitadel's a strong contender. But if you're in a large, large organization with complex needs, well then Keycloak's definitely unmatched for you. But for me, Authentic hits that sweet spot. It's both powerful and user-friendly and very, very versatile. So what do you think? Have you tried any of these tools or is there any other IAM solution you swear by? Drop it in the comments below for us to analyze and discover and let's keep this conversation going. Thanks for sticking with me for this entire video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.